Uh, invisible war first. Oh, that was a slip up. I did not jump, boy. Um, got a rune, corrupted charms. That was a slip up. I didn't even notice the trap. Uh, excerpt from an overseer's report on black market occult artifacts. The following note was found at the site of a mur uh, ritual murder. Attached to the victim's face by nine fish hooks, ranged in a suspicious pattern. We infer that the two parties were involved in conflict over the construction and sale of a suspicious, superstitious charm, using pieces from old or possibly damaged heretical artifacts. Full in uh, investigation recommended focus on a person uh, named Liaka Li 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 in uh, Circanos. Liaka, you cheat. For months, I poured coin into your pockets, paying for all the things you requested, food and lodging to the outskirts of town. I have sought with birth defects whose purpose I cannot imagine, but toxic plants and chemical materials, the baboon blood and cartilage of deep dying fish were not cheap, I assure you. But even more costly was the scrimshaw I painstakingly acquired from sailors during the past year, carved from the bones of whales and sent to a home of powers from the beyond. Cost me half my savings. You swore to me, swore that you provide me with the charm I, I wanted. It was quite clear. I had your word that I'll be able to visit Arabella in my dreams, that I could woo her while sleeping. You promised that you would love me, and said you'd deliver to me this lump of old bones scratched and hacked at, welded together if made by a child. For two weeks I kept it close to my heart. Night when I slept I did see Arabella. Yeah, oh yes. So sort of lying with everyone I've ever hated. Rivals and enemies who bested me in business or sport. Men who have bullied or insulted me, including my inferior and my in sorry, including my infernal older brother. I woke each morning clenching my teeth in shame and rage. Such terrible nosebleeds I suffered. My hair began to fall out in clumps. Do the cursed thing in the lake just to be rid of it. You told me you were a sorcerer, a simple child more like. Uh, be it that as it may, I want you to know the day that I decided the to ruin your life. I'll punish you for thinking me an idiot and taking my money. I could send an anonymous message delivered to the nearest out uh, overseer outpost, but what I've got in mind is more fitting. There is a gang that operates in Karnaka. Assassins. Would you know that all my remaining funds will be spent putting a contract? A uh, contact? Yeah, a contract on your pretty head. Never see me again, Luika. But when the butcher's blade falls on your neck, or when the p p a poison in your milk takes hold, I want you to remember that this is how I repay those who cheat me. So, that message was stitched to her face. Either that or they killed someone to deliver the message. Seems impractical. Feck off. This, that, and these two. And if we go up, we can actually get around this side and get to the boat charm. Christ, a submariner or a submar submariner. Regain health while submerged in water. How's the youth? Ow. Fucking bastard. They were stopping me from moving, it seemed. Or just greatly reducing my movement speed. In either case, bastards. Okay, it's in the basement of this building. This is the second time now. I see something, or someone, out of the corner of my eye. But when I turn, they're gone. Someone is watching us. Oh, that they are. Bolts, no need, f no use to me.
try this out on a person at some stage. Not right now. There's too many people around. Let this reload. So time. That was awkward. Did not nearly handle that with the style and grace I was hoping I would. Can I even enter this way? No. So did I waste that for nothing? I wouldn't say yes. Ah, ah you get in this way. Hmm. You know what? Even if it was a waste, that's fine. At least I got those guys out of the picture. That's something. Plus there's only two darts. I still have 30. Oh, Archer Urn. Extra 100 coins. You keep surprising me, Dowd. Not long ago, I watched you kill an Empress and steal her child for coin. For a man like that, you went through Cold Ridge Prison with an awfully soft touch. I wonder. Are you hoping it will change the way things work out? Maybe. Maybe not. The song's almost over. And when the music stops, we all fall down. I can't remember what song he's referencing. Because it's a song, if memory serves. But I don't know what one. That looks weird from down here. Anyway. So I can get onto the Undine via a hatch underneath. Sure. Hello, boy. Ow. Hello, boys. Hatch down here somewhere, but I can't find it. Actually, is there a hatch? Uh, mission clues. Um, Fish, and you can't fight in water, which is the most irritating part. Basically, means you're completely at the dis. Wait, did, didn't the guy say it was underneath? Maybe it's not underneath, maybe it's on the side. <sighs> I can't see it. And find it. Oh Christ. Oh wait, I think I see it now. Lizzie's boat is smaller than I remember. Ah, oh, that's irritating. I couldn't see it, and those hagfish, you can't fight them. Uh, oh, you can only shoot into the water. You can't even swing your sword under it. It's going to pieces. I was just getting things under control, but now I hear Lizzie busted out of Coldridge. How? 
the Daily News are all starting to sway my way, swing my way. And I even think we'll wipe out those accursed hatters soon. Mr. Hatter humiliated me something awful with that raid, the sewer engine coil. And payback was going to was going to be me taking a piss in his stovepipe. But now Lizzie's free again? I've got the crew in high alert, orders to kill anyone that ain't one of us. I'm starting to think a bit off more than I can chew. Boink! He's been eliminated. And I have to sound a horn to signal her. <laughs> oh, I love slow time. Stout! Lizzie Stride is assuming control of the Dead Eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Oh, how kind. Your friend Edgar Wakefield sent me up to be taken by the City Watch. And you followed him. Took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you. Couldn't Follow even give her some shoes? I'm filled with love. But... The following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two <laughs> from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. That piece Damn of it. garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. Ship seems fine to me. They took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore. Not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the Hatter gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The Gazer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So be real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on a charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move. Wag it back. Just trying to pickpocket her. I can't. I have to choke her out first. And I think that would co probably cause some friction. So that might be just loot I can't get. No, I'm sorry, that's just complicating matters. Let's not do that. Ooh, it said there that Sokolov has gone missing. So that's, that is giving us a bit of time frame. Admiralty in the fleet. Um, except from a book on naval history. While each of the Isles has some form of naval fleet, none is more envied than that of Gristol, with its long, proud history of great ships and the admirals who command them. Boys have come of age in the cities of Gristol, hoping to someday captain such a ship, and family dynasties are made by those captains who track down infamous pirates who crush the distance uprisings, as during the uh, Moral Insurrection. During times of war and peace, Gristol continues to innovate at sea. The... Actually, I, don't... I think I have read all of that before. I thought I only read part of it, but no. Okay, seems she just still doesn't actually know about Edgar being down there in the hold. Eh, he'll stay there, wake up, and just uh, pretend nothing happened. Then she takes his fingers. Mm. 
doesn't doubt do that. Just because he can do strange things doesn't mean you're an invisible man, Martinez. I'll ask him how he does it. Are you crazy? Don't you dare. So, oh, yeah. Want to talk? Don't make me take that away from you. You should get where you're going. Apparently he doesn't. So, you guys okay? You should get where you're going, little man. That guy says yes. Both the uh, dead eels and the hatters seem to act like the exact same insults. Also, that guy on the right there really makes me think of someone. Some actor. I don't know why. Aren't these dead? These are dead eels. Yeah, I haven't gotten the memo. Wait, I haven't used. Uh, it's not there. Oh, it, it's here. Come on. Thank you. You'll sleep in the river mud tonight. Nice. And these were dead eels. But probably I think they were the ones that got um, taken out by me in the past. So they were a bit pissy about that. What are you looking at? Ooh, look. He's armed for fighting. Either that or I startled them by running and they attacked me. No, I think they might have been ones I had already engaged or something. Then again, that guy was standing there as if they were harassing him. So I have no idea what's going on. So if I straw on in here. Doesn't look nice. Would we? Uh... Sir, the Hatters are using the textile machines to make shrouds for the plague dead. Now we know why they took the engine coil. The man who runs the Hatters is more cunning than he looks. He can flood this place with a toxic gas. In time, it'll eat through our air filters. You may have to make a deal. Christ. That's a one powerful gas if it like just eats through air filters. Also, why are they making shrouds for the plague dead? I guess there's money in it. Keep your head. I was just asking. Just because you're in charge of the gate don't mean the rest of us are idiots. Yeah? Well since you're such a genius. It ought to be real easy to see where it was. So go check it out. Fine. I don't know why you're worried about nothing. Okay, I should be able to get down into here and just snap this guy. As you may have noticed, there is a symbol. That was from a dropped, uh, uh, drop assassination. I got the Textomu Yard Key. This is the guy I just talked to. Can't have him there. Just uh, really pay attention to that open window. There was a guy patrolling right within line of sight of it. So in all likelihood, You'd have grabbed him. You'd have seen him. 